There are two ways to throttle your Cox engines. The most common way of controlling engine power is by limiting the air-fuel mixture. For Cox engines such as the 049 SureStart, this is achieved simply by using an air intake valve. Closing the valve reduces the amount of fuel-air mixture going to the cylinder and combusting. The Cox International website suggests that the engine speed can be controlled between around 6500 and 16,000 RPMs. We will see about that. For TD engines, the options are more limited, though I did find some third-party carburetor throttles, but these are not readily available today. I tried making one myself, and it worked okay, but it was not perfect as it was difficult to hold the engine at low idle speeds without it shutting off. For Cox engines, there is a second throttle option that works by restricting the exhaust gases. It's referred to as a throttle ring. This works for TD engines and Reedy's also. The throttle ring is noted to control RPMs between around 7000 and full throttle. Both options are relatively inexpensive. But which one works better? Which one can better control the engine? I wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison to see which throttle made the engine run better over a wider range of speeds. Here I have my sure start engine with 20% nitro fuel and a 5.3 prop. As you can see, both types of throttles are connected to servos with a rod to hold them in place. So let's get the engines and testing started.
That's it for the testing and here is the summary of the results. Overall, I prefer the throttle ring as it seemed to provide a lower and more stable idle. However, depending on the tolerances of the throttle ring, it may or may not allow you to turn the engine off the same way that the air intake throttle does. A couple of final notes. The idle RPMs can be reduced further using a glow adapter. I did not try this, but another YouTube video shows that this also reduces the maximum engine speed, which is not ideal. And finally, in case you're wondering, the use of both throttles concurrently is not an entirely new or wacky idea. Such designs have been used in the past. Controlling the engine air intake and exhaust seems to provide the best result. I welcome your comments and any thoughts about what else might be worth testing or doing side-by-side -side comparisons on with these little Cox engines. So thank you for watching.